What is going on YouTube? It is your boy once star week for you and now watching another episode of the Broke Boy Road to Glory. And as you guys know, the weekend league quest for 15 wins continues. I mean, we need to get our hands on the icon swap. I am I am waiting to open that prime or prime icon moments pack. I've been seeing other people opening theirs, and I'm low-key jealous. So I wanna I wanna get these 15 wins out of the way. I need to grind the rest of these objectives. But first, you're going to be seeing on your screen um, the packs I've opened today. Um, we did get an SBC for a Prime Gold Players pack. And I would say the return wasn't too bad. We did get an Aspilicueta from it, which I guess could be worse. We also did the 83 double upgrade, which just dropped today. The requirements are very weird. You have to submit 5 83s and the rest of them 82s. Um, but I guess it's a little bit easier than submitting a 83 rated squad, which is, I guess, what they'd asked for in the past. We did two of them. The first one, we get an Inform Shakiri. So I felt a little saucy because an Inform Shakiri is not a bad pull from this SBC. I did another one. I got double 84. So that's when I knew it was time to stop. It was time to go. Um, and we move. And let us jump into the squad screen. Because as you guys know, we are rocking a stupendous team this weekend league. Probably one of the best teams I have used so far this year. It makes sense. I mean, the team's supposed to progress as the game progresses. Um, but let us talk about our new additions. Um, as you guys know, I reviewed Atal yesterday. And just look at the stats. I mean, the stats speak for themselves. 20 games played, about like 18 of them were in the weekend league. He has 17 goals and five assists. I mean, can you really hate on that return? Not really. But the main man we're going to be talking about today is the SBC from yesterday. The SBC a lot of you guys were waiting for all foot uh, birthday promo. It's going to be none other than 89 Renato Sanchez. I'm kind of late on this review. There are probably a million YouTubers that have done this review already. But we're going to talk about them today because I've used them for probably longer than most of these YouTubers have used them. Um, over the course of two days in the weekend league. And let's look at this car. He's 5'9". He has high, high work rates. He's right-footed with a 4-star, 5-star combination, as you guys see here. I have played 14 games with him. All of them were in the weekend league, and he has 6 goals and 7 assists from the CM position. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you want more content like this, do me a big solid and hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, as always, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for clicking this video. So... When you look at this Renato Sanchez review, I mean, on paper, you already know he's going to be Hullet Gang. Um, and he just looks like a very, very well-rounded card. Um, a lot of pros were using his Inform this year. A lot of pros were using his Road to the Finals this year. And that just gives you the idea of what kind of card Renato could be in game. His pace has been upgraded to 88, which is very nice. His shooting and passing stats are now to the point where he has some decent, decent end product on him. His dribbling looks amazing to me 90 dribbling on a cm or a cdm type player is of course going to be nasty his defending and physical look good his defending stats don't look that great but if you've ever used renato in game for whatever reason he just seems to be very lively very present in the midfield so i don't think he's gonna or i do think instead that he's gonna be outplaying these stats so without further ado we're gonna jump into the gameplay i'm gonna let you guys know how my quest for 15 wins in the weekend league has gone and i'm gonna let you guys know is this Renato worth it? Let's go. All right, guys. So according to Footbin, this Renato card is going to cost you 750k to complete the SBC. Is he worth it? I would have to say absolutely. Out of all the Foot Birthday SBCs, I think he's the best one. He's better than Royce. And um, I know the price is expensive, but you're getting one of the best midfielders on this game that most people can afford. We're going to talk about it. starting with the pace. He has 88 pace. And it just plays like that in game. He covers a lot of the ground up and down the pitch as a CM. Um, and he's just very quick. He's very explosive coming out of the skill moves. And um, I, I think that he's the kind of CDM or CM that you'd like if you're getting countered because of his ability to react, respond, and do everything very, very quickly. Overall, this guy's pace is a 9 out of 10. Next, we'll talk about shooting. And it's among the biggest upgrades he has gotten. But still, he only has 78 finishing. How did it play out in game? I would say that his finishing is decent. Nothing more, nothing less. He has a midfielder's finish. And if you get him in the right position, which is very easy to do because he has the 87 attack positioning, because he has such nice dribbling, um, he'll be able to finish more shots than not. But if he has a shot under pressure, if he has a shot that's a finesse on his uh, uh, from a tight angle, he will miss those sometimes. Um, some shots 
that you would expect your striker to score, he might miss just because the 78 finishing is going to reign true. That being said, though, if he hits it on target, he is going to beat the keeper. He has 90 goddamn nine shot power, and his long shots will test the keeper at 91 every single time. Overall, this guy's shooting is a 7.5 out of 10. Next, we're we'll talk about his passing, and I think this is one of the biggest upgrades I've noticed on this card. It's pretty funny because one of Renato's real weaknesses in real life is that his passing ability is not that great. But in this game, it's it's the land of make believe. It is imaginary town, and uh, we have a Renato Sanchez that is very very nice at pl uh, playmaking. His long passing is 86, his vision is 87, and if you want a CDM that could deep line playmake, that 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 could send inch perfect through balls down the line that could hit driven passes across the field with ease he's going to be able to do that very well his 89 short passing and 87 vision means that in and around the box he's going to be very reliable as well um in tight areas he'll be able to get the pass off and this makes him a very press resistant player overall this guy's passing is a 9 out of 10. Next, we'll talk about his dribbling, and like I've alluded to earlier in the, the episode, his dribbling is absolutely immense. I know his agility is only 84, but he has 99 balance. He's only 5'9". His body type, I don't know what it is. He just feels super, super smooth on the ball. You would think his agility was in the 90s. The way he could left stick dribble is just immense. He feels just super responsive, very easy to maneuver, um, even in delayed gameplay. His L1 and R1 dribbling is very nice as well. He has the four star skills. He has the 92 dribbling. He has the 89 ball control. He is very sticky. And even if you make a mistake, he will get the second chance more often than not. He is a very press resistant midfielder. His 84 composure is just enough to get the job done. I don't think it's a pro or a con. And overall, I have to give this guy's dribbling a nine out of 10. As far as CDMs or CMs go, if you need somebody who can hold possession in those sweaty, sweaty weekend league games, this Renato Sanchez will be able to do it because of his dribbling finally we'll be talking about his defending and physical and just like i suspected this guy just seems to outplay his stats tenfold when it comes to defending because 83 defending is not that great at this stage of the game i mean it's a good stat but there are a lot of cards with 9 defending or higher that people play in the midfield um but this guy hangs with just every midfielder on this game um his interceptions are 82 but once again it feels like it's in the 90s he's just one of the liveliest most aggressive cards i have used on this game he just seems to be everywhere his ai seems to be more active than other midfielders ai and it really helps him with the the, the, the interceptions his tackle 85 once again just seems decent but in game he has a very powerful very clean tackle he tends to win a lot of 50 50 challenges and like i said his 93 aggression seems like it's like over 100 this guy I don't know what it is. I don't know if he 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 sniffs smelling salts before the game. I don't know if he drinks pre-workouts. There's something on with this card. He is he he's a beast in the midfield. That's the best way to put it. He has 86 strength and 97 stamina, which means he lasts all game. And overall, this guy's defending with physical is a nine out of ten. All right, guys. So what's the final verdict on this Renato card? I mean, I think this is a card that what can't he do all right what can't he do you could viably even play him further up the pitch you could play him as a cam if he just put the right cam style on him and he really plays like that in game he's just very strong at every part of the game he's really a midfielder you could play at cm cdm lone cdm you could even play him as a wide mid in the 352 he's just a super versatile card and wherever you put him you're always going to notice his presence his ai is super active he's super aggressive he just seems to be everywhere in the pitch and now with the shooting and passing upgrades, he does have a lot of end product and the five star weak foot, of course, is very nice. I got to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I think he's one of my favorite midfielders on this game. And if you need a midfielder that's going to really make an impact that you're going to notice, this guy's going to be it. All right, guys, so you might be wondering how my weekend league has went and it's been sweaty. It has been unpleasant for large portions. I'm not going to lie to you. The, the gameplay has just been subpar today. It's been subpar yesterday at times. But we're moving, we're fighting the good fight, and we are 13 and 6. And honestly, I'm not sure how much more I could play. I'm gonna definitely get the 15 wins. I don't even know if I'm gonna get the 17 wins for gold too. I don't even know if I, I can muster the energy to do it. But we're definitely gonna try to at least get 15 wins and probably just call it a day there. Let me know in the comment section down below how your weekend league has went. Have you tried this Renato card? What are your experiences? Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next episode. But until then.